Welcome to Geekology. I'm David Sevilla. And I'm Sven Harbin. And tonight we're discussing Transformers. So, let's restart that opening sequence. Welcome to Educating David. <laughs> I'm going to be a total hey, master. Hey, hey, no, no, <laughs> look. I bought this. People commented on, on Facebook when I said, I'm actually buying Transformers comics. See? This is me. I bought it of my own volition. My Transformers comic, and it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. You didn't see that coming. It's so funny. Love Mars attacks there. Right. Okay, now, Sorry. I found out something interesting today. I found out that I know something slightly more about Transformers than he does. Woohoo! It lasted for about 30 seconds, and that was because I actually know what these are. Because I dated a Transformers fan a few years ago and I was going to get her one as a Christmas present and instead I got her the Soundwave. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, because of the two, that made more sense. Mm -hmm. I liked Soundwave. But I looked into these so I know what they are. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and then he went and ruined it by going, I'm sorry I haven't got the third. At which point my brain went, oh, I missed one. <laughs> yeah. So okay, let's let's start with the the first one, then we'll get to the yeah. second one. We can okay. discuss the third one because we don't need the third one to talk about don't, it. Do we? Now you, I'll reveal there's an Optimus Prime behind here, but we'll come back to yeah, in a moment. Yeah, that's that's a. Yes. So let's let's just pop this one out of my life. Here we go. One a nice white iPod dock. Well, with yes, on the very simple basis that iPods were white. Yes. So, here we are. It might be worth telling people how old this film well, is. Well, it's actually from 2006, 2007, 2008, that kind of Yeah, period. but we're in 2014 now. Yes, quite. So, so they're yes. getting on a bit now. Uh, so let's get this out of the box so we can have a look at what we Okay, have. so the power adapter that comes with it, obviously we're not going to touch that one no. because that is the Absolutely. Chinese market? Well, Japanese. Japanese. It is Japanese, Japanese one. Okay. So this is, this is the Japanese release of the white version of iPod.com boy. Okay. Um, so we've got a power port on box. the back, we've got yeah. a speaker jack yeah. on the back. Which I assume is to plug in something that doesn't have iPod uh, connector on it. Mm -hmm. um, but the box itself is quite nice. Did we get the, well wait, did you get the cable with that one to hook that in or have people got to purchase that? People got to purchase it separately. Okay. Because uh, it's initially designed just to be for the iPod really. So, we've basically got the cab, mm -hmm. the trailer, the standard Convoy slash Optimus Prime bloated gun, rather than the thin-ended one, Yeah, and uh, a pair of fists, shockingly. Are they a fury? Uh, there's no fury involved. No, no, okay. no it's not a bolt. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, so, there you are, it rolls quite nicely, and you have this rather nice smooth movement to pop it into iPod dock mode, where you would put an iPod... Nano, or an well, old iPod Nano, or an iPod Touch, or one of the early classic iPods, plugs into there. Okay. Uh, just, I'll, I'll, I'll let you transform that mode while I look at the tra train okay. part for a moment. Now, those of you who uh, are aware... 2007. Of, yes. Those of you who are aware of, um, of G1 Transformers will probably think, it's a white eye, uh, it's a white Optimus Prime cab, therefore it's Ultra Magnus. Kind of, but kind of not, because it's sold as convoy, it just happens to be white. And when you transform it, um, the face is distinctly not Ultra Magnus coloured, but that doesn't mean a huge amount, let's be honest. Let's pop that there. Okay, pop that there. Well, I'll say right now, I like the trunks. Uh, I, I like the transformation. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. The, they've added extra feet for stability, which is, is good. Um, would any of the toys have had that on? They actually had, this is why there's a bit here, is they actually have ones that swing out because yeah. of the, it would open up originally. Uh, what I don't like about it, uh, I love the buttons, the artwork's mm. nice, but they've made it from two different plastics. If you look at the plastic they use for the transportation mode, and the plastic they've used for the outer case, 
they're two different plastics. Yeah, there's a slight difference. So there is a slight yeah. colour difference, yeah. which would only bother somebody who's been particularly picky. pedantic. Picky. Yes, absolutely. But the so. transfer, say, uh, the transformation mode is nice. Mm -hmm. It feels good. It feels solid. Nice, good weight to it. I mean, yeah. that's never a sign of, of good quality, but it, it never hurts. No, quite. Um, as okay, for the so cap, let's have a look at the cap. Right. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> that feels really weird being able to just look straight through this chair. chair. Can I put a little blue LED in here? <laughs> Um, you can get a little matrix that can fit inside his chest, actually. Okay. Please, viewers at home, don't criticise me for this comment. Uh, his head does not look right. Is there something different? It's a new mould. Oh, okay. The entire cab is basically a G1 Optimus Prime slash G1 Convoy. Right. But what they did is they created a new head mould based on... Masterpiece MP1. Ah, right, okay, see now that would explain yes. why it looks. Um, I dislike the eyes. Mm hmm. Any particular reason? Uh, they just look really badly painted on. I've right. kind of got used to the masterpieces having the. Um, see, I always want to call it Perspex, and it's not, it's just translucent plastics, but I like the. The, they put the head onto a ball socket yeah. for it, which is not good, a huge except amount of movement, for the fact it? that it will eventually yeah. snap. Yeah, it looks fairly sturdy, nice quality, standard mould points for, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it tell you what, enough. let's fetch out the second one. Okay. And compare that. Right, what is the difference with the second one? Is it this all was, about the colour? It's all about the colour. This was actually released a little bit later on in right, so if we the G1 Optimus Prime colours. Just one side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're back in the second one, so we've got this out. We got this one out of the box now. Yeah. First thing first. Obviously, obviously a lot more recognisable. <laughs> yes. Artwork on both sides of the cab. Yeah. Let me just detach the that. So, yeah, that's familiar, isn't it? Yeah, it does. And just to hammer it home, there's my original Optimus Prime. So, yes. Oh, wow. It really from. is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why did they put no stickers and artwork at all? I think it's because version? it's the initial release and they wanted to get it past Apple because in Japan it was an official Apple, an Apple license product. Okay. thing. So yes. Alright. Um, and this still if this one still is, it's just that being as it's a second release, I don't think they had to run it past Apple again. Okay. And they basically went, we'll do it in the style that we want to do it. Okay. I have to say if I was going to purchase one, mm -hmm. I'd be purchasing this model. Yeah. Because obviously if you're a Transformers fan, you want one that looks like. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to actually do you want to transform that and I'll do the Optimus cab? Oh yeah, I think I think ready? One, two, three, done. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only time I've ever been able to Oh except for those ones we could drop. What were they? I like the ones we could drop and they pinged out and Oh the um the, the data discs from uh, Yeah, Force they were awesome. Yeah. I quite like those. So there we go. Okay. Right, so exactly the same as that one, just better artwork. Yeah. Now I popped the um the power cable in because this is actually from Hong Kong rather than Japan. So it came with a, the equivalent of a British power supply. Nice, okay. which is always useful. So I'll pop I that have in. here my old iPhone because whilst I do like Apple products, I don't actually own a 
great deal of them. No, which is a shame. But I was actually going to go with the, the iPod. I don't own an iPod, I just own the thing. Shall we go, actually, shall we just go with the Transformers thing? Will we get sued if I put the Transformers music on a review? Uh, we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please don't sue me. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, uh, this accessory may not be supported. Uh, this is the thing. Is oh, it? hang on. Because this uh, is from 2007. The iPhone when you yeah. the new iOS. Yeah, and this is, the, the, at the end of the day, to say iPod, I assume that's iPod Touch and iPod Nano. So I've got a feeling that's not supported. Okay, all that's right. That's a shame. That's not a downside to the actual... Yeah, product, because the product produced. does quite clearly list that it yeah, doesn't. Yeah. Okay. I think an iPod Classic might be the best thing to pop into. It. But there yeah, we go. if you're gonna stick with the thing, there are there is a connection on the back, which I assume is for connecting in other things uh, using a cable. Unfortunately, we don't have a cable to do that. But yes, yeah. let's definitely just have to look at it from from this point of view. Um, again, as you mentioned earlier with the Magnus painted one, uh, you are looking at a new head mould mm -hmm. compared to the original one. It's got blue eyes, which irritates me intensely. Um, <laughs> but if we pop up the, G, the original G11, you can see the difference in the head. Just out of curiosity, what was the recommended retail price on these originally? Oh, uh, well, it was in yen, so... Uh, because it was never released outside of Japan, it's quite difficult oh, it's one to of those nail down. That, okay. um, what do they tend to go for in the collector's market? Right, the white one tends to go between 35 and 50 these days, maybe even up to 60, 70. Okay. The Optimus Prime coloured one tends to start at 70 and then go up. I wouldn't object to one in white. Yeah. I would definitely prefer... The exactly. proper colours, to be honest. Yeah, that's understandable. So there's a difference in your trailer from your G11 because it's got roller in it. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, given the choice, I think I prefer this trailer. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might somehow. Let's just leave that there. But um, if you look at the difference between Optimus's, uh, same gun, because this is an early. Um, yeah version of Optimus. They have the stickers where this one Yeah, actually, again, yeah. but that can be repro labelled, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, probably will get repro labelled, to be honest. I'm not sure I'll think about that. The cleaner definition lines on the G1 model for the legs and around the tank than yeah. there are on the this version. Yeah. But, but the wheels are better defined on this version than yeah. on the original G1. As you but said, the, the head, head is completely different. Yeah, the head. Which yeah. does make that head look a little bit too small. To me, I just but, but I just looked at it when it didn't look right, but yeah, I couldn't put my finger on why it didn't look right. So you got you got basically the MP1 head, yeah, shrunk down and popped onto the G1 body, okay. essentially. Right. Well, I'd, of of all the products that they released from, I'm going to call it this range. It's a music label. I'd, I'd have to say label. that none of these. I want the the rumble and. Frenzy. Frenzy. The earphones. I had the... Well, I, I purchased the earphones for somebody else. They were awesome. They, weren't they came out, they transformed. They, yeah. they were just great toys. I okay, always okay, intended... Okay, well, used to trip people over. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd always <laughs> intended to buy another set. And yeah. I, I don't see them kicking around. It's not something yeah. I'm going to go trawling around no, to no, find. No, fair enough. Fair enough. But, yeah. But, yeah. Given a choice of the two, I'd definitely go for yeah. the... Proper Transformers mm -hmm. paint job. This one as a novelty, especially for people who are into Apple or white, mm. because there are still some serious hardcore Apple fans out there who just. I mean, want. that really probably was developed specifically for for the Apple owners and, and so on and so forth, rather than the Transformers people. It was just a, a natty way of doing it. I a, don't know. An iPod dock. I've met a few Transformers fans, funnily enough. And um, they, they tend to have a fairly decent attitude towards variances and bits.
easy to score for me. I have no problem with it. This one, with the price bracket at, at, at £30, wouldn't bat an eyelid. Fine, absolutely. Up to the 70 for this, yeah, totally. I mean, Asda, Tesco's, Walmart, wherever, you buy an iPod docking station. Now, yes, you can get these little tiny ones for like £5, but a decent docking station, yeah, 35 quid, 40 quid, 70. No, no problem. People do that quite a yeah. lot. This one, yeah. For a hardcore Transformer fan, definitely, I can I can totally see it. Yeah. 70 to 100, possibly even not to 120. Yeah, fine, no problem. These are one of the few Transformer products I'll quite happily fully endorse and go buy one. As a non-Transformer fan, buy one, it's geek chic. You know? yeah. Especially the white one, for the hardcore Apple fans who were yeah. all white to begin with. Because at the end of the day, it was a, it was a licensed product in Japan. Well, so. I, I tell you what, and, and this this is a shout out to any dealers at Auto Assembly when he forces me to be there next year. If you have one of these at 30 quid, stick it under the counter, I will come and quite happily give you money for one of these. This one, it's nice. But I wouldn't want to give people the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's that simple. Okay, so you, you're you not happy about scoring this, which I find... Yeah, I'm finding it a little difficult, because at the end of the day, it's, it, it, it's very niche from my point of view. And it's very much... They're both very much an oddity and, and strange things now. With okay, the... all right, hang on, hang on. I, I will make this easier for mm -hmm. you, Okay. Forget that it is a, an Apple licensed product, which for me is a huge selling point for these. So forget that. Forget the trailer, mm -hmm. and I know you, you're going to go, but at the price, it's included. Yeah. Forget that. Just score the primes. Because at, at the end of the day, you're a prime fan. Mm -hmm. So score, score the primes, forget the trailer. Well, this is the thing, is that at the end of the day, the majority of the, of the actual cab toy figure is the same as the G1 Prime. Yes. Which has been reissued a numerous times. Yes. But I'm God amazed knows it wasn't reissued this year. <laughs> Why would it have been reissued this year other than the birthday three. thing? Yeah, okay. they, they didn't do it. They did it for the 25th <laughs> this year, which is quite strange. Um, so, from that point of view, it's, it's another reissued toy. However, it is unique in that you've got the that head. new head. Now, the head is very much in a fashion after the MP1 masterpiece head, mm. which in itself means that it's quite a unique piece. So the only way you're ever going to get this head in white and this head in blue is by buying these. Mm. So that makes them specifically very collectible. Yeah. And because this one is Optimus Prime, and it's the right colour, that's why this fetches more money than the other one does. You see, now I, can, I, I totally see that from a Transformers point of view as a um, piece in a glass case. Yeah. If you were going to use one though, yeah. this this white one is, is nice. I, I really like this. As a toy, I like this. I mean, this is the thing though. Is to me but are we going to call it a toy with the dock inside? Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, is that, is, is this it a toy? toy? Is it a toy? piece of equipment? Is it art? Uh, is it, is see, it, see, it, see, my argument would be, again, with Geek Chic. Yeah, it's, geek it's, chic. it's a boy's toy, it's Geek boy's Chic, toy. whatever you want to call it, along those lines. And for the cost of it, mm. yeah. Now, the thing is, is that white one seems awfully, awfully plain to me. It does when you compare Maybe it to this. Because this. this has got the proper Optimus Prime trailer stripe, I mean, especially on the other side. It's like this, this is clearly, we know who this is. Okay, if I had the spare cash kicking around, I would quite happily yeah. purchase one of these on the lower end of yeah, the spectrum. Absolutely. If I could get one lower, because the thing is, I wouldn't care about the box, which yeah. helps. Oh, bugger the box! We, we haven't done the packaging. Well, go on then. Okay, <laughs> alright. 
Uh, I'll tell you, you do the special edition on yeah. the other standard. Right. At the end of the so, day, it's the same box. It's just that when got... they did the Optimus Prime one, they put a sticker on the front to say, this is the one in red. Okay, so we've got <laughs> that, that matte finish black with yeah. the uh, raised silver. It's essentially a masterpiece box. Yeah, essentially it's a masterpiece box. Which is exactly... oh! oh, look at the base, look at the base. Yes. There you go. Here's your sound wave. You one wave to Andrew's room. Yeah. I got her the blue one. The white one actually looks quite nice. Though. Yeah. And you'll notice as well, this this is because this is the Optimus Prime one, it came from, uh, in, in my one came from Hong Kong. So it's actually got a Hasbro sticker on it. As well as coming with the yeah, British Yeah, this one definitely does not. Yeah. So, nice enough packaging and then you go, on the back you've got the Ultra Magnus coloured one. Yeah. Uh, with the white version of Soundwave and Friends in Rumble in the background. Uh, and showing with an iPod Classic. Yes. I think I'm going to have to steal my daughter's iPod Classic and plug it in. Oh great, you're going to have... Uh, K-pop! K-pop, lots of K-pop. Sorry, so. <laughs> He's not sorry, so. He, he likes <laughs> mocking you when we're not on video. Oh. I do not! <laughs> How rude are you? <laughs> Trying to dig me a hole, how dare you? Hey, listen, I'm after a white transformer, she might smuggle me one out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to give the original Colour Convoy Optimus Prime one a 8. Oh wow, I'm scoring it higher than you! Yes! <laughs> Absolutely. Because How did that? In what universe do I score Transformer toys higher than you? I, I mean, this is the thing, it's from my point of view, because the iPod side of it doesn't really mean much, I'm buying it as a Transformer. Um, yeah, but it's a Transformer that does something. Oh, I Surely know, that I makes know. it better. That does make it quite interesting. And this is the thing, is with Soundwave, what I did with my music label Soundwave is the one gig memory card that's in mine's got Soundwave Soundway. sound samples. So he actually talks, <laughs> <laughs> basically, which is nice. quite funny. Um, Your poor so, with this, <laughs> so with this, it's like, hey, so I might have to find myself a little iPod Nano and fill it with Transformers music. Probably they're cheap Just to play yeah. that, yeah. Um, so, bearing that in mind, considering the cost of this, and it's basically another variation on Optimus Prime, to all intents and purposes, I don't think I can give it any higher than that. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I'm paying for another Optimus Prime with a different head and a bit of electronics in this trailer. The way to look at it. I'm, I'm not going to say that that's what most of your collection is. Shh! Shh! Fingers on lips. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> the other one's going to get... Uh, a seven because at the end of the day, it's the same toy stroke piece of equipment, stroke geek chic, stroke whatever you want to call it. Listen, you stroke your Transformers toys off camera. <laughs> um, it has got a ultra magnusy nutness about it, yes, even though it hasn't got no. quite the right color scheme for the head. But that trailer is so plain, it's almost scary. It, I'll, I'll admit, it looks a lot better. Yeah, I mean, compare it with this, that's. You Come know what? It's, it's kind of classic with the whole design. It fits in with the yeah, design. It fits in with the whole iPod thing, to, doesn't know. it? Now, there's two further things I'm going to say about this. Go on. One, glowy Autobot logo. What's not to like? Yes. I mean, that's just like, why can't we have this on every toy? And then you think, for the Cybertron, it's on every character. I want it on everything. <laughs> <laughs> One button cell battery, that's all it requires, and I've got a light up logo. Um, that, that, yeah, really but in that. 10 years' cool. time, all the yeah, characters will be going bonkers about the batteries changing. And yeah, 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 quite. Um, and the other thing is, is there's currently an Optimus Prime truck driving around Japan. Oh, I've heard about this one. Which isn't, it isn't the correct um, truck, it isn't the correct cab to be Optimus Prime. Why not? Really. Uh, I don't think that can, that truck got released in Japan. Oh, okay. It's a Kenworth K100. Okay, so basically the they got a generic truck, truck. So they got a generic truck, painted prime. it red, but the trailer has got the stripe down the side. Yeah. And everything. And then it transforms and opens up to a pair of speakers. Wait, it's see, you're saying familiar. transforms and that sounds way better than they open the side yeah. up and have a speaker. And in the speakers there, and it looks kind of detailed, very similar to this, except for instead of an iPod in the middle, there's Optimus Prime's head. Full size? 
I wouldn't say it's full size, but it's certainly in that direction. Movie or G1? G1. Oh, well, that's okay. Cool. You, can't, you can't have a trailer putting around looking like this and put the movie Optimus Prime head on it. Okay, now, I've already mentioned that I'm going to be at the next or Yeah, Auto Assembly 2015. Uh, okay, what else are we doing? Uh, we've all, well, we'll talk more about that. It's towards the end of August in 2015, and you can't get out of coming. Yeah. Ah. yeah I know. So we have an entire weekend of, 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 of educating David. Yeah, we have a table. And I don't have to do it. There's going to be like almost a thousand people to do it for me. Yeah. Epic. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm looking forward to talking to them. I'm waiting to find that one Transformers fan who can give me the English. Uh, translation to all the uh, kids play kids play stuff and sick, yeah I'll be happy. sick puppy hey listen I just like those toys sick puppy I, I, sick at, puppy at least, <laughs> at least there are transformers I like true true um, and don't forget we there does appear to be quite a lot of transformers fans who are also Star Trek fans so I'm sure you'll be getting first contact day yeah we've got first, first contact, contact day, well. day that's April fourth and fifth fourth and fifth of April two thousand and fifteen. <laughs> An entire weekend of us basically trekking it up. Oh, yeah. So Always yeah. a bonus. That's it's not actually fair. just Star Trek this time. There is other sci-fi. I don't care. I don't so. care. I get to walk but around my Rafa car. I'm going in my uniform. You are too. Yes. And everybody else in the room. I, 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 I might turn up in my uniform to the Transformers event just so I can feel yeah. better about the universe. So we're there representing Geekology. We're yeah. also representing Dazzling Dreams. Yes. Yeah, it's a, a fantastic children's charity that we both do a lot of voluntary work for. Yeah. There'll be a, a Transformers link down below for the playlist with all the interesting bits that you've educated me on over the time. Yes, absolutely. There is, of course, the Geekology website. Yes. We are on Facebook and Twitter. By we, I mean... Dyslexic. Not dyslexic. <laughs> dyslexic. Not dys <laughs> he can do that. Uh, so we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we've got the official Geekology website. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. Subscribe. Is there anything Please. else we haven't mentioned? I don't think so. I think Excellent! Well, thank and you. And if you're a little bit into your Trek, you might want to check out the playlist of the Star Trek stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. on right then, well, uh, I think that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching, and good night. Bye.